Seven. Bishop's now getting back up off the canvas. Plus shot, it was the overhand left. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear-cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Andre Bishop's recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little more time than he gives somebody else. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Andre Bishop. Pulled the trigger on that overhand left. Nice block by Andre Bishop. Turn the sender with the left hand. Keep working the chance. Good, good. End of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. So, as the bell sounds, we put to bed the first half of this fight, and we are underway with a new round. Not able to land the headshot. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Andre Bishop's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. A well-placed left hand up top. Good job on the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. An accurate left by Andre Bishop. Halfway through round six. Targeting that straight left hand. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Nice work on the right hand by Andre Bishop. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Little head hunting with the left. A 
big hook to the head by Muhammad Ali. Well, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Andre Bishop. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Ali's putting forth a game plan of being a volume puncher, but Teddy, he's not landing a lot of these punches, and what kind of effect can that have on this fight? Well, he can get frustrated a little bit, and hey, he might not win the fight. He can have that kind of effect. Is that effective enough? See how he comes over the top with that left hand. Well placed shot there. Hook. Hook. Devastating power punch by Andre Bishop. See that focus. Keep working the job. Ali's doing well here with that two punch combination. Andre Bishop's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. A clean shot lands upstairs by Muhammad Ali. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Muhammad Ali. Ali's well off the mark that time. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. This fight is being fought at a pace that is beyond belief, Teddy. Well, this shows you what's great about human beings. I mean, you push somebody, in this case two men, to the brink, to a dark place, and they find a way. They light a candle, they light a torch, they find some way to get to the light. They're both looking for it now. Teddy's scorecard at the beginning of round number eight. Bishop's the lead, but he's taken some damage, Teddy. Yeah, it's been a good day for him, but there's been some clouds, and it's raining a little bit. He just has to worry that it doesn't start raining harder. A crushing two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Andre Bishop's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Scored well up top. Coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Muhammad Ali's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. The halfway point of round number eight. Right back downstairs. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Oh, that's got to hurt. Wow, is this good stuff. What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked out earlier. Yo, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. Ali's back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Bishop's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it.